All right, we're on page 255 now of the Go Math textbook, the Chapter 5 Test Review. Let's get to it. Lucy walks one time around the lake. She walks for 1.5 hours at an average rate of 3 miles per hour. What is the distance in miles around the lake? Well, we're using that our distance, rate, and time formulas. Uh, we want to find the distance. It says, what is the distance? So distance equals rate times time. And so now we need to know the rate and the time. She walks for an hour and a half. That is the time. And she walks, for, she walks at a rate of three miles per hour. So there's our setup. Go for it. All right, number 18. The parking lot at a store has a width of 20 yards, 2 feet, and a length of 30 yards, and they set it up for us here, 30 by 20 and 2 feet. Part A says, Derek says the width could also be written as 22 feet. Explain whether you agree or disagree with Derek. So it says the width is this one, and he says it could be written as 22 feet. Well, I know to change yards to feet, I have to multiply it by 3, and that's going to be 60 plus the additional 2 feet. So I disagree with Derek. Why? Because it should be 20 yards 2 feet is equal to 62 feet, not 22 feet. Part B, and so you need to be writing that, okay? I'm not doing all the work for you in case you're thinking I, that you can just do this and be done. You need to explain what, what was done here, okay, in your words. Part B, the cost to repave the parking lot is $2 per square foot. Explain how much it would cost to repave the parking lot. Okay, so you want to change both of these to feet and then multiply. Well, we already changed the width to feet. It's 62 feet. Now we multiply the yards by the uh, length by three to get it in feet. And now that we have both of these in feet, we just have to multiply 62 times 90. That's going to give us our feet squared because this is feet times feet. Whoops. And feet times feet just is feet squared, feet times itself. And then you're going to get your number, 62 times 90, here. Okay. Once you get this answer, you're going to take this answer and multiply by $2. And this will be your final answer that tells you the cost. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.